Right, well, I might jump in with the geopolitics because that is probably the most important thing that I'm going to talk about in this video. Uh, so hopefully now the sabers have been rattled and uh, we won't see any further escalation. Obviously, uh, if you've been living under a rock, Ukraine fired uh, British-made storm, uh, storm shadow missiles into Russia. Russia responded by firing an ICBM uh, with non-nuclear warheads, obviously, at a Ukrainian city. But it, obviously, what Vladimir Putin is doing is is showing that his uh, intercontinental missiles work. Um, so thanks for the heads up, Vlad. Um, but I think hopefully I'm hoping that when Trump comes in, he's going to bring he's going to hopefully negotiate an end to the Ukraine war and I think that I think an end to that will make for a much more positive investing atmosphere overall um, certainly in the short term maybe not so much in long long term but definitely in the short term and so that is something that I'm, I'm definitely hoping for uh, we'll wait and see if that happens but the other thing I wanted to talk one of the things I wanted to talk about today was a day trade I made with uh, Sage because uh, that shot up something like 17% on uh, I think it was Wednesday it was a couple of days ago but basically I sh to explain how I knew they were going to go up it's, it's very very simple um, I've been using this site called Sharecast which if you're you're dealing with a FTSE, it's a really good source of information and you just go here on the company diary and you can see here when all these different companies are giving out their final reports and uh, I was I bought the shares on Trading212 um, because they, they had some market data about the report um, about 7 o'clock which is because you need this information it's like there's no point getting it at, 11 o'clock in the in the morning you need it at 7 you need to know and you may need to have a quick look at it and make a very quick decision uh, about whether it's good or not but it's once again it's all about the guidance and if it's above the guidance then, like the sage one was then you're going to see the shares shoot up shoot up so um, well one thing I did notice though is because I I put in my trade um, at half seven, so before the market opened, and the previous day, the close of Sage was ten seventy seven per share. Now, my trade didn't actually get filed until five past eight, and I've actually paid twelve oh eight a share. I mean, I still made about three hundred and fifty quid, um, but that goes to show sometimes it's, it's worth. Because you know, you wonder who's getting it at that price. Well, you know, it's, it's Larry Fink and all his mates are getting it in like that. Uh, <laughs> you see, uh, Starmer had a meeting with Larry today. Oh, Twitter's Twitter's loving that. And I'm, I'm to be honest, I'm surprised that uh, Larry Fink even knew who Starmer was. But another thing that I find quite interesting since I've been trading is I can remember during Occupy, people always talked about the Tobin tax which is essentially this idea that you would tax every sort of individual trade on the market and you know like 54 pounds of stamp duty man like that's that adds up you know I bet I'd, I'd be very interested to see if Larry is paying the same rate of stamp duty on all his trades probably not after today's meeting but anyway that's enough of that so yeah, that's that's literally how how easy it is. Like once you see, you know, I was pretty confident. I went in with close to eleven grand because um, I was pretty confident. You know, once I seen that report, it was it was obvious they were going to go up. I have only just looked at because I thought I should have made more, and that that is why. But then I sold them. So yeah, obviously that's minus the that doesn't include the money lost on stamp duty. Um, but that, yeah, so that is uh, how you do a day trade and make a bit of money. Um, so, yeah, it's not, it really, it really isn't rocket science. Uh, something else 
that I've seen that I thought I'd let you know about uh, is um, Ithaca, I guess is how you say that, Energy. Now they, they're North, I, I think they do North Sea oil stuff. And so they might have been a bit down in the dumps because Labour have knocked all like all the licenses for developing new fields on the head. But they're up 9.2% yesterday. And that's because they've announced what appears to be this massive, oh, it's in dollars, uh, it's in dollars, but still 12 cent special dividend, which is like 28%. That's, that's crazy. That's, that's massive. You hardly ever see dividend deals like that. So, and the other thing is the ex dividend date. So, if you're ever wondering what that is, uh, I'll tell you that. I'll actually I'll explain that to you now very briefly. Basically, to receive a dividend payment from a stock, you need to buy it before the ex dividend date. So, if you buy on or so you need to buy these shares before the 28th of November, or you won't get that dividend. But if you buy it after the ex dividend date, you won't receive it. You won't receive that payment. But apparently, if you sell it on the divid ex dividend date, you will still receive that payment. Apparently, um, because uh, quite often um, you see shares go down on their ex dividend date. It's quite likely to happen. But, <clears throat> but yeah, so uh, I mean, with a what? 52 week high of 166 I, 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 I'm pretty tempted to, uh, to pop a bit of money on that and I don't know if I'll even wait for the dividend I just think there's going to be a big rise tomorrow again now when people see that because um, it's, it's a special so I don't know when they announced it but how did the share yeah it moved pretty quickly this morning so it was up as high as 112 But yeah, and uh, the only other thing I yeah I've got to talk about is uh, I've opened up an eToro account, which is actually a pretty good trading site. Um, and one of the good things about it is you can buy Bitcoin. Oh, Bitcoin is going to a hundred thousand. But then think about all those people who put a, a sell order when it reaches a hundred thousand. So it's it's going to hit a hundred thousand, and then it's going to drop. Um, but who knows? But it's crazy. I can't. I can't believe that's happened, man. You know, Tim Pool <laughs> ended up being right. Ah, oh, dear. Um, so yeah, and you can do CFDs and stuff. I don't really. I don't get leveraged, so I don't. I'm not. I'm not really interested in, in doing that. But I definitely would buy some crypto at some point. I'm just waiting for an opportunity. But I, I don't know if there is ever going to be a good one again. Um, and also, uh, yeah, with eToro, the other good thing is I can now I can buy on American markets. Like I filled in the WA Ben form, they just took my national insurance number. So all this hassle I've been going through with like Halifax trying to fill one out, which is a waste of time. Um, but you know, at least I'm now on the on the American markets, and uh, yeah, I can lose a bit of money there as well now. So uh, so that's good. And uh, just have to get into China now. But Anyway, yeah, so if you fancy a big fat dividend from Ithaca, it might be worth a, a shot, but always remember, this is, this is not financial advice. I'll see you later.